Hola Classe. In this video, I am going to walk you through putting in the subject pronouns pages. So, go ahead and in your notebook, we're going to put this in right after the last vocabulary page. So after capitulo cuatro, we're going to put it in on the next page. And from the packet, you're going to need to get these three pages. You will need the subject pronoun flowers, the four flags that say, when do I use usted? When do I use to? When do I use ustedes? And when do I use vosotros? And also the pronombres de sujeto thing that looks like this. All right. And after you get these three pages out, go ahead and put everything back um, in terms of the clip on the packet, packet and folder, and put everything away so that you've got it for next time. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and cut everything apart. Okay. Um, you only need one of these and one of these. Um, in the master document, it just prints two to a page and it was much faster for me to do it this way. So the bonus for you is that you get to mess one up. Um, also, you might want to add color before you cut these out. So I will see you guys back here in just a minute through the magic of editing, but you're going to take some time right now and go ahead and color these and cut them apart. All right. So we'll see you back here in tres, dos, uno. Okay. Now that everything is cut, and colored, it's time to glue everything down. Okay, so now that everything that is glued down, you'll have a whole bunch of flaps. You'll have petals on this flower, as you only glued down the center, and you'll have these six flaps on the pronombres de sujeto. Um, now, at first, I had colored this like this and cut it apart, but I decided to color it a little bit differently, and I'm going to explain why here right now. So you'll notice that I have yo and I are both red, because, as you remember from last year, yo is I in Espanol. So now what we're going to do is fill in the information underneath each one of these. Okay? We are going to start with yo. So, fold over yo. Yo is I. So with your pencil or pen, go ahead and put a big I. Okay? Then under two, This one is you, and it's informal, right? Informal meaning you use it with your friends and your family, people that you're close to, do. Then under L, ella, and usted, you can write L is he, ella, is she, and usted is you, and it's the formal you, so that you would use with um, your teachers, your boss, etc. And right underneath, you have two options. You can either put um, usted, write usted here on the flap. I'm going to do that. Um, 
and I'm also going to write it below here. So I'm going to do it both ways. Um, usted is often abbreviated, capital U, lowercase d, period, in Espanol. So to recap, on the singular side, yo is I, tu is informal you, L is he, ella is she, and usted is the formal you. Now let's do the plural side. Nosotros, nosotras, both mean we. Vosotros, vosotras, is how they say you all in Spain. And this is informal. It's like if you think of a group of people that you would call two, that's vosotros, vosotras. Then, ellos, ellas, both mean they. And ustedes is the plural of usted. It also means you all. But it's formal in Spain, like usted. And it's also what they use when you're addressing a group of people in Mexico and Latin America. Okay? So now, to recap this side... Nosotros, nosotras, we. Vosotros, vosotras. You all in Spain. And ellos, ellas, ustedes. They and you all. And underneath UDS, I'm going to write in ustedes. And just like I did for usted... I'm going to spell out the abbreviation for ustedes. Okay. Now I'm going to transfer all of the information here to the information or to the flower. Now, under each one of these flaps, we're then going to write the rules for when we use each one. I color-coded them to match with these. And we're going to write the rules under each one. So I use do with friends, family, with friends and family. Use usted with people you want to show respect to. Use ustedes to talk to a group. in Latin America. Use vosotros to talk to a group in Spain. Last but not least, don't forget to put a label at the top. And also update your table of contents at the beginning. 
All right, Class A, that's it for this video. Until next time, adios.